Fred. What's all this? Are you alright? Good morning. Why do you have a knife, a koboko, a pistol and whatever this is on your table? What's this? That's poison. Poison for who? I have had enough of this madness. I have had enough of this rubbish. That woman is going to choose how she wants to die. Either she chooses this poison and drinks it and slowly and painfully dies. Or I use this knife to chop her to bits and feed it to the dogs. That's or I whip her to death. That's the plan that you have for your wife? Yes. I can't deal anymore. I can't take this rubbish anymore. That a woman that I married with my own money, a woman I paid her dowry in full, a woman I take care of her family, I feed them, they owe me their lives. I take care of all of them. Who will, will break my head? Really? Where, where, where is it done? Who does that? Fred, you paid her a bright price. You didn't buy her from her parents. All you did was a token of appreciation to show that you will take care of her. To show that you will guide her and protect her. Not put knives and koboko pistol and poison to your wife. Come on! Steve. She is my wife, and I will choose to treat her how I wish, <laughs> how I deem fit. <laughs> I agree with you that she's your wife. But yet, you have no right to treat that woman the way that you are treating her. Oh, God save you, that you're not married to those evil women out there. Those women that would have killed you a long time ago. But yet, you're married to a quiet woman. A woman that is very calm. A woman that you eat her food every day that has chosen not to poison you. You drink water that she gives you every day. But she chose not to poison that water. You sleep on the same bed with her. She chose not to stab you with a knife. She takes all your rubbish. If she was my sister, I swear to God I would have killed you myself. Yes, I would have killed you. Steve, are you, are you out of your mind? Is everything okay with you? <laughs> Are you seriously telling me this right now? Are you out of your mind, Steve? Are you seriously talking to me in that manner? <laughs> A man like you, my fellow man, you should understand things like this. You know, that, you know how women are? If you give women wings now, they will fly high above, above mountains and, and to places you can never imagine. And what so is I wrong? I am trying to put my wife under control. What is wrong with your wife flying? What is wrong with your wife flying? Your wife is not a dog. Your wife is not the dog that you take on morning strolls. That is not the wife that you got married to. Try to respect this woman, Fred. Try to give her some... Can you treat your mother the way that you are treating your wife now? No, 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 no. Can you treat your mother the same way that you are treating your wife? Don't go there. My mother is my mother, and my wife is my wife. There are two different things. Can you hear yourself? But they are all women, aren't they? Look, Fred, I am not here to beg you. But I'm here to warn you that the next time that you treat that woman the way that you treat her, <laughs> you will see another side of me. Because I don't expect that your father will treat your mother the same way that you are treating your wife. I doubt if your mother would have been alive. And I'm sure that you wouldn't have been given birth to now. So again, I warn you. Treat your wife right. Or else. So or else what, Steve? <laughs> you walk into my house. Mm. You come in and you're throwing threats. Mm. Here and there. I don't give in to threats. Let me know sense that that's what you're trying to do right now. Because I won't have it. <laughs> Fred. I don't make empty threats. Yes. I will come here personally. I will take that woman away from you. Far where she will be safe. And I will lock you behind bars for the rest of your life. Try me. Mm -mm. Try me. Steve. You're saying this thing too much. Mm. I will take you seriously and I don't want to. Oh, that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea that you take me seriously. And you will see what I can do. Try me.
I hope that Steve will not go in there and, and mess things up for me further. See, sometimes, eh? I wish you were not my elder sister. I wish you were a child. So I will just lay you down, carry four by four cane, and flog your head. Flog some sense into you. What is wrong with you? He should not mess things up for you. Is your life not a mess already? Are you not a mess already? Steve has gone there to talk some sense into your husband, to give him a warning of his life, so that he will change and you're here worried. You keep crying, you keep crying. You want to leave this home, you want to leave this home. It is time for you to go now. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? What else do you want? Don't you, aren't you tired of taking everything that comes to you? That is, that is it. See, I know you are scared. I know that you don't know where to go, what to do, things like that. But let me assure you, if you leave this house today, you will say fine help. I'm telling you. You people don't understand. The both of you don't have an idea. That's why you are talking like this. Look, if I leave this house today, by mistake or by force or anyhow, I am not going to another house, so I am going to jail. Jail? Yes. Ah, clean your mouth, clean your mouth. Which jail? What do you mean by you are going to jail? If there's anybody that should go to jail, is that you useless buffalo idiot husband? It's him, Fred. Is there something you are not telling us? How old do you mean by going to jail? Did you commit crime? I signed something with Fred. And if I leave him, I'll go to jail. What nonsense are you saying? Sis, what do you mean by you signed something with Fred? Are you a criminal? Even if you sign anything, are you a thief? Why would you go to jail? Or is it a hotel that you are going to lodge? I think your sister is not stupid. I think there is more to this thing that is no, she's not telling us. Madame Toku now. James, James, I've warned you before. I've warned you. Stay out of my life. Stay out of my marriage. Stay out of my business. Yes, I've warned you. Yes, ma'am. At least respect me as your madam now. Ah, uh, I hear. Sorry, ma'am. You know one thing I hate about you so much? It keeps annoying me. When it comes to other people, you can shut them up. You can talk to them and put them in their place. You are telling him you are his madam. When it comes to that beast, you can't say anything. You cannot put him in his place at all. Eh? We are just trying to know the best for you and you're shutting people up. Is there anything you're not telling us? Is there anything you're not talking to telling us, sis? Open up, talk to us. Talk to me, sister, talk to me. Um, guys, guys, come here. Let's go in. It's annoying. Sign something that can land her in jail. 